This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. And now, for the third time, we're trying to record this next episode of Miles Edge Face Attorney Investigation. First time we tried to do it remotely, because Marty was at college and I was at my condo. And she doesn't go to college at my condo. So we, we tried to record it remotely. Audio quality turned out terrible, so, so we, didn't, we, we didn't, scrapped it pretty shortly. We didn't shortly. get very far, though, so I didn't see no. much. And then we tried to do it just a few minutes ago, and it wasn't recording the sound. Yeah, my favorite. So, so. yeah, we're trying it again. Welcome there, back. sound's getting Only recorded, video's getting recorded. Our commentary is getting recorded. Only cool. the best quality for our viewers. So, Turnabout Reminiscence, we're at the start of The, the middle. middle by Jimmy Eat World. <laughs> okay. and, and anyhow, previously, for those of you who forgot, I'm sure Marty forgot, uh, there was a double, murder. double uh, murder. Two guys apparently killed each other, but we're like, well, maybe not. Uh, lawyer lady laughed at us. Creepy Manny Coach was like, hey, man, yeah, want to come with me? And they're like, uh, no, you're 24, but you look like you're... Of pure imagination. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what Manny Coach had said. Anyhow, oh yeah, and Von Karma got her senior photos taken, yeah. and she rode to the court on a John Deere riding lawnmower. <laughs> All of that is completely canon. So, okay, September 10th, 4:45 p.m. District Court, Fordham Floor Lobby, for the third time. Sir, what is to become of the trial into the Codopian Embassy staff member's murder? I finally am able to say that, though. Yeah, because you had to say it three times. <laughs> It's a, I'm always like, Cahodopian, but there's no O. Cahodopian. Cahodopian. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, since both the suspect and the prosecutor are now dead, the case will be dismissed. In other words, the trial ends here prematurely. Huh. Looks like you'll have to wait just a bit longer for your big debut. I suppose it can't be helped. The evidence for this trial will be transferred to you in a little while. Sir, what do you think about the murder of the Kodopian Embassy staff member and the murders of Mr. Farday and Mr. Rell? What an outrageous circus it has all become! This is a circus freaking this is a the circus! This is a freaking circus, I can't believe it. That Farday brought it all upon himself with his naivety. An outrageous circus. Right, sir. What happened? What? Oh my gosh, imagine if Manfred Von Karma had to cross examine Mo. Just shut up shut and up. tell us the truth! Stop telling us jokes! I, I have no Just sense of humor. Keep snapping at him. I grow weary of this topic because it's the third time we've said it. <laughs> and Dwarf, I will have you assigned to a different case. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait. Papa, you'll come and watch my courtroom debut next, won't you? Hmm, I'll consider it. You in the comments decide whether he's joking about that or if he's legitimately like you have to earn my. <laughs> I think right, it's more we? like you have to earn this, <laughs> sir. If I may, please allow me to continue with my investigation. Whatever for. I know that there is already a suspect in the murder of Mr. Farday and Mr. Rell. However, there is not enough evidence to prove that it was he who committed the crime. I'd like to continue investigating in order to find the perfect proof of his guilt. The perfect proof. Now you're a circus! Don't make me laugh! A worthless person like you has no right to claim such a feat as perfection! Yeesh. Well, he, yeah, uh, Man Man Manfred's not a very good father. Top, top ten fathers in, uh, Phoenix Wright. Uh, number ten, Manfred Von Karma. Uh, number nine, Manfred Ka Von Karma. Uh, n <laughs> number five, uh... Manfred Von Karma. How number, many dads number, have there been? Number four, the art director, uh, the... My, True Mission. True Mission. Um, number three, uh, the Phoenix Pringles Wright. guy. The Pringles guy from uh, Regina's case. Oh, the oh, the, oh, the, the circus oh, yeah. guy. Um, number two, Phoenix Wright to True C. Uh, number uh, one, number uh, one, uh... Is there a number one? There's gotta be a number one. Oh, uh, the, the, the mob boss for the mob <laughs> king. <laughs> Wilfred Bigley's <laughs> kid. He's the best, not the number one! The best father in all of Phoenix Wright. <laughs> I, I will Who say, Manfred... Well, is Manfred a better father than Zach Grammery? He's a better- Who completely ditched his daughter. He's a better father than, um, what is it, Dahlia's dad? Oh, Dahlia's dad was scum of the earth. Though. Scum of the earth, yeah. Um, at, at least this guy at least speak. Well, he's a workaholic, and he's like- just, he's he's, I feel like he's one of those parents who has like ridiculously impossibly high standards for his kids. But also yeah, is but like, like, you're gonna be the best, I'm gonna make sure you're the best, I'm gonna give you the best of everything, so you can be the yeah, best. Yeah, but that's kinda- that's a lot on a child. Oh yeah, I don't, he's not a good father. No. Again, I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Top 10 fathers in Phoenix, right? Cast your votes below. Who's your favorite fathers? Um, Papa, 
Oh, uh, just you wait till the second I drink in there. It's basically like, wow. My, <laughs> wow, like, compared to, like, these farmers, Manfred might be the best. <laughs> Father sells child to the underlord for money. <laughs> That's how Meg came with Hades, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is the real culprit behind these murders? Don't care. <laughs> Miles and I. We're competing to see who can find the real killer first. Look at the lips on Valkyrie. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, being able to investigate a real crime scene is a really rare opportunity. It would give us some real life experience. Wouldn't you agree? Hey, if you want to investigate this case that much, then do as you wish. Then, you're allowing us to continue? In court, your top priority is to win! And a solid investigation is one of the keys to win. We have to make sure you become recognized as a first-rate prosecutor, don't we? It wouldn't be very interesting otherwise. I'm returning home now. My wife and I have a delightful dinner date at Outback going? Steakhouse plan. <laughs> Getting an Uber because we rode there on the John Deere tractor. <laughs> Is he gonna take that back? <laughs> That's Francisca's ride. That's Francisca's ride. But they all came together, I'm guessing, because they're no, all they... from the same spot. No, they didn't. Why wouldn't they? Okay, I'm guessing Edgeworth and Manfred came together in like a car. Manfred's going back in the car, so Edgeworth's gonna have to hitchhike home with Francisca on the John Deere tractor that goes like five uh, miles an hour <laughs> down downtown I think, America. Boulevard. I think Miles Edgeworth <laughs> would probably just walk and then get mobbed by fans. Honestly, well. it might be faster to walk than ride one of those giant lawnmowers <laughs> through rush hour traffic in downtown America. In downtown America. It, it, it's normally downtown Tokyo, but it's America in this. San Francisco. Edgeworth, Francisca, see to it I'm not disturbed, save for the results of your competition. Yes, sir. Of course, Papa. I'm sorry, but the only people who call their dad Papa are Sundere's and, um, brother and sister bear. <laughs> Papa bear. <laughs> Papa's pizza. <laughs> Don't love there's Papa's other, pizza. There's other people who call them Papa. It's like a... Name one. Um... The ch okay, there's this child the children from Gravity Falls. Do you remember the episode where they're on the boat with oh. Uncle Stan? What if nobody loves you, Pop Pop? <laughs> pop Pop. I think it might have been Pop Pop, but it, it sounds like Pop Pop. Oh my god. Franziska, thank you for letting me l ride home on your lawnmower. <laughs> what are you thanking me for? It only goes five miles an hour anyway. <laughs> your logic earlier was built on that scruffy detective's lie. That means that the competition is still on. Yes, just as you wished. Hm. I couldn't let you get off so easily. Has it been like... It's been at least a whole month since we recorded the last yeah, episode. Yeah, the so last yeah. time I recorded, um, I realized that... Um, What's-her-face, Kay? I have a friend in college named Kay. Oh. <laughs> and I didn't know her before the last time we recorded, so... Now then, let's see how well you fare on the investigation from here, Miles Edgeworth. I wonder what took us longer to get through that on the third attempt than on That's the That's because we were talking about John Deere tractors, it's and true. then we ranked the fathers. That's true. I know I don't have enough information yet, so my first order of business will be to question anyone involved with this case. Wait, All right. okay, we need to talk about the people in the background. There's the guy that's like- Oh, late warrior ladies there. He's like spraying water all over him. There's the guy- <laughs> there's the guy that almost looks like he's watching the trains. <laughs> like at the store, there's the dude that's like, oh, so tired, gotta be on the couch. And then there's the guy that's actually doing his job. Yeah, basically. Uh, let's talk to Francisca first. She's our but partner. Not that you're looking at her. Yes, what is it? <laughs> We're facing away from her. <laughs> it feels like there's a whole backside to this case we're not seeing. And here we had thought that it was a case where the two men had killed each other. We're lacking in information. And as a Von Karma, I can hardly call this a perfect investigation. Indeed, it is as you say. Ah! I can't believe we agree on something. Just what is so revolting about agreeing? Anyway, our first move should be to speak with everyone related to this case. Indeed, even if you had not said it, I was planning to do so anyway. Ah! What was that lash for? Well, she's mad. All right. Uh, Does it follow us. Oh, the only partner who doesn't follow us. Um, um, Cammy didn't follow us either. Oh. <laughs> but also, she was the murderer. Wow, this food is so incredibly detailed! My inner modeling fanboy is impressed! Hmm, I'm not exactly a fan of plastic models, per se. 
but even I can sense the superb quality of this model. I simply cannot comprehend how that man has built so much love for such a trifle. Oh, I see. You're a disciple of my father. So, you would do well to guard yourself against an interest in such an unproductive thing. Yes, perhaps I should take up whipping people like the young lady over here. Check that guy, yeah. Uh, I can't stop the water, sir! It seems that the man who was here earlier broke it by drinking from it too much. <laughs> I forgot about that! A bunch of fools who pretended to not see the foolishly foolish actions of a foolish fool! Well then, why don't you lend the officer a hand? As if I should have anything to do with this. Besides, that water drinking fool's mouth is the thing that the officer should be covering. Let's give that officer a description of the water guzzler later. She seems to have quite the grudge. Sounds to me like someone wanted a drink. <laughs> I'll let you drink when I'm done. <laughs> Ten minutes later. <laughs> Like, no, that right, that is annoying, that. especially if it's like you have to use the bathroom and like almost all the day. Oh yeah, I've had that several times at college. Miles Edgeworth! Yes? What is the meaning of this bulletin board? Why are there so few trials posted? Hmm, it would appear that the entire week is devoted to Mr. Rell's trial. Is the crime rate really that low in this country? Or maybe... The police lack the proper motivation to get out there and catch the criminals? I'm afraid I can't comment on that, however. I can say that I have my doubts about the younger detectives. Sounds to me like they're in a need of a stricter hand. And I'll start my discipline regiment with that pathetic, filthy-coated detective! <sighs> I feel bad for the big guy. And yet I can't find no suitable re reason to stop her. Yeah. Or... Oh, now she's moving. It's an incredibly detailed model, isn't it? I heard that it cost as much to make as it cost to build the courthouse itself. <laughs> in making such an expensive model! I felt the exact same way upon hearing it. Ugh, it's so hard to understand such foolishness! Agreed. That is... Working hard, the officer. Uh, sir, I have to report, sir! Is there no one who will make this man take responsibility for his actions of the job? It looks like we have no choice but to report this to Papa. Then this guard can have his fun in a waking nightmare after being awakened from his dream. Actually, let's not. I kind of feel sorry for him now. What's the matter, officer? It's turning away from him. I've been standing here for forever, sir, and I really need to go to the bathroom. Why don't you just make a quick trip? The nearest one isn't that far, is it? No, it's a short way down the hall beyond these doors, but... I don't want to be blamed for anything that might happen while I'm gone. We'll watch it for you. So I I'm gonna hold it! Perhaps Detective Gumshoe can be a positive influence on the force after all. <laughs> yeah, is that... Oh, I just realized, that's the couch that Phoenix Wright was sleeping on that one case before he got knocked over the head. Should we talk to Gumshoe or Laughing Lawyer? Laughing Lawyer. Come here. Miss you? Oh, it's you, Edgeworth. And who are you? Wait, you were at the crime scene just now, weren't you? You should be disbarred for not knowing who I am! I am Francisca Von Karma, and I am about to become the successor to the family name. About to? I guess that means that for now you're still just another kid. In which case, it's only natural that I didn't know who you are. What? But why are you whipping me? Because you're not going to whip her. <laughs> anyway, it looks like they're planning to hold the evidence a bit longer. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's waiting. I'm terribly sorry, but I have to- a few more questions to ask of you. I have a- <laughs> Look at you, eyebrows scratched with lines on your forehead! And you didn't even say the sentence correctly! <laughs> and the- to ask of you. <laughs> but what exactly is so funny?! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just bad at dealing with super serious atmosphere. I definitely shouldn't be in the job. <laughs> Apparently, they failed to teach you proper behavior at a crime scene in law school. Oh, oh, I feel much better now. So, what is it you wanted to talk about? I'd like to inquire as to where you were at the time of the murder. We were in defendant lobby number one the whole time, up until we heard the gunshot. And by we, I mean Mr. Bad. If you don't believe me, feel free to ask him yourself. You were with Detective Bad? Why? We had a little something to discuss. That's all. 
something to discuss. So I take it that you are acquaintances with Detective Bad? Yeah. He was the detective in charge of the KG-8 incident. Detective Bad is also related to that incident? That's right. He was the one who was supposed to bring or protect my sister, Cece. But you know how that turned out, don't you, Mr. Edgeworth? Miles Edgeworth, I have no idea what you two are talking about! I've heard of the KG-8 incident from my papa. But how does that case relate to you, Miss Yu? The victim of that case, CCU, was my little sister. She brought out the makeup now. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> You're making that super serious face again! <laughs> I'm fine. Really. I'm just making a point to rub some salt in this wound and pry every time I see him. The way she talks about doing that as she laughs away is kind of creepy. Oh, speaking of Mr. Bad, he and Mr. Farday. I'd say they met up just about every single time the Yadagarasu made a move. It was practically a given that those two would meet up at every one of the crime scenes. I see. He did mention that he was in charge of the Yadagarasu investigation earlier. Maybe I should ask her what she knows about the Yadagarasu in more detail. You claim that at the time of the murder, you were here with Detective Bad. Uh, not here, but in that, that room. <laughs> but don't you lawyers usually discuss the trial with your clients during a recess? We do. And that's what I was planning to do. But then the judge had burritos with Kristoff Gavin. So and how could I not? <laughs> when Mr. Faraday was being rather threatening and dragged Mr. Rell away. After that, Mr. Bad came into the lobby number one, so we just stayed there and talked. And what did you talk with Detective Bad about? Nothing interesting. I just insulted him some. I talked about how the trial was going, and then I insulted him some more. Bloody! When she's not laughing, her mouth seemingly spews nothing but insults. Anyway, Mr. Bad and I were in the defendant lobby number one when the murders occurred. So I really can't tell you anything about the hallway or lobby number two. I see. Holy mackerel, Batman. I'd like to ask you a few questions about your client, Mr. Mackerel. Now, your client first claimed to be the Yadagarasu, is that correct? Yeah. Once I heard that it was the Yadagarasu that made off with the evidence from KG-8, I began to ask Mr. Rell all sorts of questions, but to no avail. Turns out, Mr. Rell was not the Yadagarasu. He just made that up. He made it up? Mr. Rell's crime was caught on tape by the security cameras. But there's no footage of him sneaking into the Kodopian embassy itself. Hold on just one second! Then, you mean to say that you knew that he was not the real Yadagarasu? And that he was just another cold-blooded killer? And you were ready to defend him? Yes, that's right. I see. So a defense lawyer is actually just someone whose job it is to cover for criminals. That's why defense lawyers are so detestable. But they're no match for us von Karmas. Leave it, you're serious! Why don't you save that face for something really worth being serious about? And Edgeworth, do you remember what I said earlier? I not my own agenda. <laughs> I'm still on the hunt for leads regarding KG8 incident. Alright. Also, he had lots of money. Yeah. <laughs> Think of all the Papa John's pizzas I could buy with him. <laughs> How much is a Papa John's pizza? Uh like per box. It depends on what size you get. Oh. It's easier, but, but it also comes with the little garlic sauce and the uh, pepperoncini. Yeah, it's way easier to measure money in um, Disney Cokes. Yeah. <laughs> you buy like three whole Disney Cokes for that price. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> and for that, you have you have not a single qualm about defending a known killer. Don't put words in my mouth. I said no such thing. The only way I had to get close to Mr. Rell was to be his lawyer. I had no intention of covering for him. Ever. So don't you dare suggest I was going to. I'm sorry. Forgive my rashness. The Yadagarasu. Miss Yu, I was wondering if you could tell me about the Yadagarasu. The Yadagarasu, huh? I don't really know much about the character myself. But I do get a lot of consultation requests from companies to defend them. Requests from companies? The Yadagarasu isn't some petty thief out for money, you know. <laughs> Alright then, perhaps the Yadagarasu is in the business of stealing people's lives. Not very funny. 
or witty. Are you a little spunk, Carl? <coughs> Francisca, be careful about who you whip. Choose carefully or we may be sued by- ah! There, I chose carefully. Just like you wanted. <laughs> that just now was hilarious, little Missy. Hmm, of course it was. What is wrong with these two women? Why does my pain give them delight? And, so in the end, what is the Autogarasu? I have to say, I've never even heard of this thief when I was in Germany. The Autogarasu detail or deals in information. And he's American. <laughs> Namely, in digging out dirt about backroom dealings and the like of companies. The Atagarasu is a vigilant who steals and... Vigilante. Oh yeah, vigilante. I even played Town of Salem. How did I not get that? <laughs> the Atagarasu is a vigilante who steals such information and then makes it public for all to see. <laughs> vigilante or not, this person sounds like just another criminal to me. I suppose you could put it that way too. But either way... A lot of more clients now thanks to that. Thing. Sounds like Miss Yu is profiting nicely. Yeah, she last time she went to Disney, she bought five cokes. Wow. Hmm, I suppose I've gotten all I can out of Miss Yu. I should move on and speak with Detective Gumshoe now. <sighs> back, back, back. It's a bookshelf. Hmm? What's this? Judges trial exchange log. It appears to be a journal where the various judges share their thoughts and ideas. The real daily lives of the judges are laid out here on these pages. There's nothing about the court in here. It's just page after page of unrelated drivel. Judging by the content, they are very enthusiastic about the courthouse's daily menu. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like me. <laughs> this week, Taco Bell is catering. Oh, yes. boy. <laughs> and then Culver's on Friday. Yes! yes. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and it would appear that fried oysters are a favorite. That's not an American dish. <laughs> I have no use for such foolishly foolish words from that foolishly foolish crowd. Someone please assure me that this is not the true state of this country's judiciary. They have a courtroom? Cafeteria type situation? Apparently. Like, I don't think you can just interrupt a trial and be like, You're talking about delivery, sir. Oh, thank you thank for you. the burrito. <laughs> Has this gavel in one Bailiff, hand this, and a burrito? this better be important. It's your talking about delivery, sir. Oh, good! Yes! That is important. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe? Hey, it's you, pal! You're here! Youch! As I am. I don't think you needed to whip him to let him know that. I didn't do it, pal! I swear on my honor as a detective! I really did it! Your words are useless. I place my trust only in the evidence, detective. Once the investigation is fully over, and should we find out that you are the killer, there will be no mercy to be had for you. <laughs> have a heart, pal! Hmph. <laughs> but you're not worried, right? After all, you have nothing to worry about, if you really are innocent, that is. But that's right! Hey, pal! Go and do your perfect investigation and get the real killer for me, will you? Humph. I would have done so even if you had not requested me to, Detective. So, you and Mr. Faraday had a small meeting last week, did you? And what exactly did you do to make him so angry? I just asked Detective Bad the same thing myself, pal. Turns out he was mad at me because on my very first day as a detective, I reported in at my usual post instead of at the Criminal Affairs Department. By the time I got down to criminal affairs, I was really, really late. And that's when he gave me that huge speech. I remember doing the same exact thing in elementary school. On the first day of school every year, I always wind up going to my old classroom. How pathetic for the detective to be compared to a mere school child. That sounds like me. I've done I, I feel for Gumshoe. I mean... I feel for Franziska, too. Oh, man. There was a time that I, like, just went on autopilot to my old house instead of, like, my new condo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, what, what was it? There was, when I worked that this past summer, there's like two places that you can go in and like clock in for work. Usually I go to the exact same spot every day because it's right where uh -huh. I would go in to work. But one of the days when I was working housekeeping, she was like, yeah, clock in. And like, I showed up and no one was there. I'm like, where am I going? And I had to go to like the front place with like, it was like a different spot. She was like, oh, you're late. You're like 15 minutes late. I'm like, ooh, but it was fine. You claim to be standing guard in front of the door to lobby number two during the recess. 
However, when did you receive that order to do so, and from whom? Um, earlier at around 3.20, and from Detective Bad Pal. Uh-huh. Today's trial took a really crazy turn. Here's the thing. It's probably Detective Bad, because we don't see him any later. We didn't see him until he was at the crime scene. No, what, I, what I'm saying is, we don't see him in any later games. That's true. And, I mean, how old is he? Check. It's like in his 50s. Yeah, he's not necessarily retiring. He's 53. He's not. So in present day, he would be, like, around 60. So Von Karma's age in this past. Man, wait, does that mean when we went against him this Phoenix where he was 65? I think so. Oh my god. 64, 65? With the brain of a genius. So I was told to make sure nothing happened to Mr. Faraday. And yet, something did happen to him, correct? It looks like it was a total waste of manpower to assign you to guard duty. Ow! Your words sting worse than your whip, pal. Why was that so slow? It was really slow. So it was Detective Bad who ordered him to stand guard, huh? Now then, Detective Gumshoe, is there anything else you'd like to tell me? D nope, not a thing, pal. Cyclops. In that case, allow us to take a look at what you're carrying on your personage. Ah! Wait! You can't do that! It's a real genuine pistol. <laughs> There's nothing of any particular value here. Well, my handcuffs and badge were confiscated by Detective Bad, so you know. And what is it that oh, what is that open envelope I see sticking out of your coat pocket? Ah! Hands off, pal! Just show it to us already! Yow! Annual bonus check within. Five dollars total. Except there's no check inside. You've had your luck? Now give it back, pal! It's my first bonus as a brand new detective! I just got in and cashed it today! I had literally no cash on me up until I did, you know. So that envelope is really special to me. Now give it back! You don't need rubbish like this. Don't worry, we'll throw it away for you later. How, how could you? Annual bonus envelope data jotted down. There's a slightly competent dude. I'm sorry, but I need to take him in for questioning now. When he put his arms up, I think there was a, like, cut in his underarm. Like, he put his oh. arm up and, like, the entire sleeve went... <laughs> <laughs> he needs to get a bigger uniform. He needs to get a bigger uniform. I think I've asked him just about everything I needed to. No, wait. Since he became a suspect, there is one piece of evidence I should reconfirm. Officer, I ask that you wait a second. I still have one thing I'd like to reconfirm with Detective Gumshoe. Understood. You see? <laughs> oh, yeah! I think that's just his badge clip. I also, I already forgot the voice I gave him. Already. <laughs> I kind of forgot you. Understood. Voice. Please make a brief, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. <laughs> all the police officers look it's the same. And they all have different voices. And that's great. I want to hear it from the horse's mouth. Oh, who, when did this guy show up? He's been here all the, all the time. He's just been standing around awkwardly. Yep. Like I must confirm whether or not. He's looking at her. <laughs> a little bit. I must confirm whether or not his testimony about when the crime occurred is the truth. He must have been the one that took her cell phone. I talked to the officer, and it's like, oh, you want to talk to Gumshoes? Not, not really. Not really, it's but all right. You told me earlier that you had no, that you heard no sound other than the gunshot out in the hallway. Is that correct? No mistake about it, pal. Hmm. Then you are also claiming that no one passed through the hallway either. Is that also correct? Yup. Not even a single ant passed through that hall while I was on duty. I think someone went to go get ice cream. Oh. Or something. Mm -hmm. Like thing. Francisca, who couldn't get it from the glow water fountain. <laughs> She's like, freaking water fountain? Can you get some juice? Wait, it's like Francie. You can be warm soda. Thanks a lot! <laughs> yeah. You do realize that the lie you're telling is only making life more difficult for yourself. Huh? Oh. But, but it's true! I didn't see anyone go through the hallway, and I didn't hear anything else, pal. He had headphones in. Super loud. Listening to the Christmas DJ at <laughs> max Christmas volume. <laughs> I bet the killer found a way to kill two guys. That's beyond what I can even imagine. So he intends to continue telling this ridiculous lie. But why would he do so given the situation he's in? Because it's the daughter of the murdered guy? I believe. Or the convicted? No, no. Edgeworth. 
Gumshoe's convicted of this. He's, he's the suspect. He's the suspect. I believe a thorough investigation of the hallway in front of the defendant lobbies is in order. Child with slippers. Back! You! Oh! She just kicked him in the butt! How could you have not noticed that coming? <laughs> Wasn't that the child I changed money for earlier? Why is it playing the old bag music? Thanks! That's exactly what I needed! Kids can sometimes be so cruel! It looks like she dropped something. Swiss roll data jotted down in my organizer. Oh boy. <laughs> Maybe we should arrest the girl. She might turn out to be a valuable lead. <laughs> Hang on, is this like a little Debbie cake? <laughs> uh, Swiss roll dropped by a mysterious young girl. Says courthouse special on it. But the courthouse special was oysters, wasn't it? No, that was the favorite. <laughs> oh. Courthouse special Swiss rolls. Courthouse special Swiss rolls. Is this being sold somewhere on the premises? I don't recall seeing any or uh, seeing a restaurant of any sort in this courthouse. I somehow doubt you'd find junk food like this on a restaurant menu, Francisca. Well then where do you where do they sell these things, huh? Um a convenience store, I suppose. Well I'm sure there's no convenience store in this courthouse, Miles Edgeworth. Gah! Where in the world did this come from? Vending machine. Turn it? Still playing the old bag music. <laughs> I believe some sort of punishment may need to be dealt the next time we meet. Takes back money. I believe I've asked all that I need to of this man. Now for Detective Bad and the Judge. I mean, she they exchanged the same amount of money. She just had coins and she wanted a buck. Yeah, but then she just comes up. What a what a little brat! <laughs> she just came up and kicked him in the butt, and Good he didn't grief. even do like, anything. I was a brat of a child, but I wasn't that bad. We have to confirm who is correct: the judge or that scruff face, right? I suppose we should inspect the hallway in front of lobby number two next, then. Hmm. I suppose so. Shall we head on over, Francisca? Do 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 do. September 10th, oh, yeah, District Court Hallway. The judge is short, I forgot. <laughs> or Detective Bad's just very tall. There's the courthouse specials. <laughs> so, did you see anything else? Hmm, no, I don't think so. I see. Well, thanks for your cooperation. Gave the judge two twenties to say what he needed to hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Just doing my duty as a defender of the law. That'll be all for now. I'll ask again if I have any other questions. Anytime, Detective. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a few loose ends I have to tie up. Oh, wait, that's the judge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a few loose ends to tie up. Okay, wait, what's the courthouse specials I'm looking at? It looks like there's rice, beef, um, corn dogs, <laughs> a Swiss roll, a drink <laughs> with, with, um, pizza, and a drink with ice cream. <laughs> okay. That's what it looks like. Also, <laughs> then there's all the, uh, Pepsi... All the Cokes uh, and Disney, Fanta, all the Disney Cokes. Disney Cokes. There's a guy that's trying to get money from underneath the vending machine. <laughs> I didn't notice him. Oh, you're the new prosecutor Mr. Von Karma recommended, right? My name is Miles Edgeworth, Your Honor. And I'm Manfred Von Karma's daughter, Franziska Von Karma. I'm set to become a successor to my genius father any day now, Your Honor. I see. Mr. New Prosecutor recommended by Von Karma and... <laughs> <Ark>! <laughs> Uh, I put my card. <laughs> Are you all right, Your Honor? Please feel free to refer me just as Miss Von Karma, Your Honor. As for him, just Edgeworth is fine. Apparently, somebody doesn't feel feel that I'm worthy of a proper title. Oh ho! Very well then. I shall call you Miss Von Karma and Mr. Prosecutor Edgeworth. Your Honor, Mr. Edgeworth is fine, sir. Now about your earlier testimony. Yes, uh, what about it, Mr. Edgeworth? I would like to ask you a few questions about what exactly you saw. All right, after all, it's my duty to clarify wow. my testimony as a defender of the law. I uh, yes, I love this. I greatly appreciate your cooperation, Your Honor. I'm waiting for Edgeworth to, like, pull out a rapier and, like, do, like, a critical hit on somebody. <laughs> He's like Elwood. He looks like Elwood. Now the first thing I need to do is figure out that detective's exact movement. Begin investigation in the hallway. Well, actually, we'll do that next time.
Oh. On Miles okay. Edgeworth Investigations 1. Thanks for watching, everybody. But, uh, this Finally, we got to record this whole finally. episode. Yay! Yay! Tune in next time. We're going to talk to the judge, which also, is almost unheard of. Figure out uh, if the guy's going to find like, a $5 bill underneath the vending machine. Like I, did I that say I found time. a $100, $100 bill! bill. <laughs> <Okay. Okay. laughs> Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.